Hey, researchers! Let's have a talk about freaking Tencent and what it is as of now in De December 2021. And a lot has changed since the release of early access of Temtem actually. So let's talk about the graphics, the gameplay, the community and as well if I think it is worth it or not, right? Well, like I said before, a lot has been changed since I played Temtem when it first released and we only had like one island to go to. And now we already got four and a fifth is even on its way. So graphically, they did not change a lot actually in the years. They did add loads of Temtem though, with all of their own abilities and types and such. And I love how diverse the Temtem actually look. Because you can see if a developer is lazy or not. If they reuse a lot of sprites and just recolor them. Well, that's something I actually hate to be honest. I like it when to see some creative and new monsters. Maybe reuse a color palette within the same type, but then change it up a little bit. I think that is maybe all right for to always have a distinction between types and something like that. I kind of like that, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I gotta give them props for that one, actually. And on the story as well, with every island, they added new items to interact with and new ways to interact with the world as well. Let's think about those ice skates, and what about the grappling hooks, right? Isn't that just amazing as well? I mean, they did add in their own version of doing a raid even. And yeah, I must tell you, I am a big nerd when it comes to group activities. Even though most of Temtem can easily be done solo, the raids have to be done within a group. But it's not needed to progress further on in the story mode. What happens is the following. You enter a queue and you get in a party. And with all of that in you, you try to get to the boss. With the necessary mobs and obstacles, once the boss is down actually, you can capture it and keep it as a trophy. Or actually use it in your story mode. But yeah, that's to you actually. <laughs> Alright. But they also updated the PvP system here and there a little bit. And to the likings of everyone, you also got some ranks right now. And you'll get matched with people who are just in the same rank as you or just up climbing up those ladders and around your level, right? Do you just do PvP for fun? That's also cool. Because there's a way to just do some casual battles with strangers or even with friends. That's up to you because don't forget that it still is a MMORPG. And that was just my childhood dream, actually. A Pokemon-like MMORPG. And we got it. But it's not all just happiness and good times. There still are... Well... A lot of stuff that still is in development, actually. And that's alright, and changes have to be made, and sometimes mistakes must happen to be learned, right? Like some... Some game breaking bugs have happened previously and service crashing also happened a few times actually. But let's be honest, which MMORPG does not have that form from time to time? I mean, even World of Warcraft, which is kind of the biggest one I know, has that from time to time. It doesn't happen frequently or anything, but still it does happen. So let's be honest. Also, the community is pretty busy helping the devs out and the community has even shrunken a little bit but when there is a new update the servers are full and populated as shit. And yet they do make it so that when there are not as many players um, as they are when there is a new update, they still keep it alive. I'm, I'm not sure even how they do it. I think they even merge servers or put just less servers online. Because it always feels active. And you see always people running around and they're always been chatting in the chat. It's always a good time actually. And they don't even bash on new players or anything or push you away. It's amazing. I <laughs> There's been... A lot of communities in MMORPGs which were like, well, oh, he's a noob, you know what I mean? 
and I do not think of that within Temtem. So that's a good thing, actually. I love it, man. And though you have to be in any quest, right? So, do I think actually it is worth it or not? I definitely think. If you are into monster gaming games and into the shell shading art style, actually, then I would definitely recommend it. Is it even worth the money? Um, well, I guess that's up to you. Um, I cannot see into your wallet or anything, so you gotta choose it for yourself. I do not think it will be uh, costing more when it finally releases, so I can also recommend maybe even wait a little bit. But then you got a whole lot of work to do before you get to where the rest of the people are. Maybe some friends of you are already playing and then you miss out on some stuff. I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you do not. Alright, so that was it already, mates. I want to thank you all and wish you all a great day.